Hello, it's Nikki. How are you doing? So I'm like very technical here. I'm like, right, I'll just move my camera while I'm talking. Um, I wrote a blog post this morning. It was one of those that just came out in 10 minutes. And I just wanted to think of an alternative way that I could share it because blogs aren't for everybody. And I thought I would read it because it came from my heart. So I wanted to share it from my heart to yours on this day of International Kindness Day, which technically is every day, but you know what I mean. It's called Why I Choose to Believe It Now. I choose to believe it now, not when I see it. The phrase, I'll believe it when I see it, is often marbled with an air of judgment, an eye roll, a dismissive, yeah, yeah. Actually takes a lot of energy to be passive aggressive. The loud exhaling, the stomping around, the hourly conversations of telling anyone who will listen that nothing is working. When I was a little girl, I was very in touch with what and who I wanted to be. And this was a blessing and a curse. I loved daydreaming and I was so lucky to find the things that lit me up so early in life. And most of them are still the same 30 years on. But on the flip side, I found it frustrating that I couldn't get started on my career and that my parents wouldn't let their eight-year-old daughter go on a train to London to audition for a show she'd seen on Blue Peter, even though she'd written out the whole address and the 0181 number. There's real power in your own belief. To start the process before somebody says yes. Gives you a job, acknowledges your work, recognises your talent, becomes a client. In fact, if you believe at first, it gives you time to create, to get it wrong, to create, to hone, to refine, to play, etc. By choosing to believe in yourself, automatically it means you join the game. You're part of the conversation. You're not needy and waiting for someone to save you and just give you a chance. Instead, you're creating your own luck and opportunity. And by starting now and doing it anyway, you're building a body of work, a portfolio, a reliability, a consistency, and you become a safe bet. You are in your full expression. Sometimes, most of the time, those early stages are sticky. It's the first time that you've done this, and it sometimes can feel weird to say, I have something for sale, would you like to buy it? Because in the back of your mind, you think, well, what if it doesn't work? And you're a human being and you're likely to feel all of the feels but where you can go back to that grounded feeling that inner resilience that gently pokes you and whispers go on kid give it a go you're meant to do this that inner resilience is poking you so trust that process and weird and wonderful opportunities may just start to reveal themselves